because we're from a stand-up background, we talk to the audience a lot. And uh, so it's, we kind of break out of it all the time. We're supposed to be doing this story, but we're always talking to the audience. And that's kind of, that's the charm of it. It's kind of a play, but from people that can't act, know nothing about building props, don't have any drama experience at all. So it's quite, it's like little children dressing up at Christmas, putting on a silly little play in the front room. It's like that. That's how we see it. For the boosh. Did you hear that? She, she said that. That's why we call ourselves the Mighty Boosh. It's like a band, and people just refer to us as the Boosh because Barrett and Fielding sounds like solicitors, so we didn't like that. So we thought we'd be called the Boosh. So next year we might do a show called Boosh Power because we've had the Mighty Boosh, the Arctic Boosh, so we might have one called Boosh Power or just Boosh. Strip it right down, keep it raw. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous now, yeah. I wasn't really. I get more nervous in June, but I wasn't really all day. And then all of a sudden, it's coming pretty strong. <laughs> I'm like, I can't breathe. I can't speak. We do a little chant. <laughs> no, we don't, do we? What do we do? We just make each other more nervous, don't we? <laughs> it's going to be sick, isn't it? Do we have to go on? All right. Uh, The Arctic Tundra, 10,000 years ago. Um, two characters called Vince and Howard, who uh, it's me and June, and I uh, don't even know why we bother giving ourselves strange names because we forget after 10 minutes and start calling each other Noel and June. And um, we, basically, they're a post postman, but um, I get we need new routes because we're really bored of our routes. I've got to have a new route. I've had the oh, same route for seven years. Look at my eyes. I know. Look at my eyes, sir. You, sir, look at my eyes. Look at the, my eye. Look, the hollow shells sucked. Yours are worse. Let me just uh, <laughs> look. My eyes, the nightmare. The, the same route. The same road. The route. The letters. The walls. The walls. The walls are full of cracks. The cracks are full of strangers. Trying to guess my weight. Get off. I want, I want a new route. I want a new route. I want a new route. Sorry. <laughs> so he gets the route and goes to the Arctic tundra to find a magic egg of Mantumbi, which is that like, that gives the. The, the person who finds the egg gets an you know, amazing power. Day 79. Still no sign of the egg. So lonely here. Wind, my only friend. And I go to Spain and meet his uncle Pedro. And uh, my, his uncle Pedro says, oh, he's in trouble, you've got to go and rescue him. Howard! Howard! <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> you see, Michael Crawford's back. <laughs> They're great, these snowshoes. <laughs> I might take them off now, actually. <laughs> They're nipping me a bit. <laughs> Oh. This must be Howard's tent. He's left me a note. It's his writing. It's upside down. <laughs> Just popped out. 
maybe some time. Probably about 20 minutes. Help yourself to a pubic soup. But beware, the Arctic is a dangerous place. Keep your wits about you. Whatever you do, never fall asleep. I fall in love with a yeti and find the egg, and then um, he's still looking for it. So come on, let's go. Stop tugging me, mink. <laughs> going anywhere? <laughs> going anywhere? I'm on a secret mission. What? I'm on a secret mission. You here. never said. Well, you know, I don't give it all away at once. You know, like a stripper. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of time. I'm on a secret mission here in the Arctic. Oh yeah. I don't want to say anything, you know, but I'm on. I'm here to. to I know it's somewhere near here. I'm here to find the egg of Mantumbi. The egg of Mantumbi. And when I have found that egg, then I will leave this place. Never before. Only when I have found that egg will I leave this place. Never before. Never, you hear me? Is that it? <laughs> yep. Should we go then? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Then he falls in love with the yeti and he finds out that I've had her and it all goes a bit pear-shaped. This letter came from the Arctic, Vince. The Arctic? It came from the Arctic. <laughs> we won't be going back there in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. I'm going back next week. What I do you mean? I booked a flight, I'm off. What for? Well, I, I didn't want to say anything while I was out, out there, you know, I wanted to wait until I got back and I wanted to wait and see how everything panned out. Uh, but basically, while I, while I was out there, I, uh, I met someone. <laughs> Met someone. There's yeah. no people out there. Did I say it was a person? Yeah. Open your mind. <laughs> she was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> she was amazing. Absolutely. That, this is. She had hair. This is just a piece of it. <laughs> From a shin. Incredible, incredible woman. She wasn't a woman, actually. <laughs> That's probably what it was. <laughs> um, oh, <she's> incredible. <laughs> oh, um, not the Yeti. Yeah, do you know her? Do you know her? Oh, bad. Oh. <laughs> oh. She's a right old slag. No! As soon as I got there, she was all over me. She's an explorer groupie. I couldn't believe it. It's all over me like a flannel. I went in her igloo. Michael Palin was coming out, doing up his little Arctic shorts. <laughs> no. Chris Bonington was grunting away like some kind of crazy wolf. <laughs> She's disgusting. I don't know who, what tawdry tart you met out there, OK? Right. I don't know what kind of yeti porn you had out there, but it's nothing to do with the love I had out there. All right. She, the, the one I met was beautiful. She had okay. oh, romance, there was romance, there was music, there was, we got a little tattoo done just to celebrate our <laughs> permanence of our love. Look, look at that. You see? <laughs> We've all got one of them. Ah! You bitch! You whore! You betrayed me! You bitch! Oh. Ah! Whoa! 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 Ah! 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 Arctic bush I actually saw this year and I thought it was beautiful. Uh, it, it's just utterly, utterly charming. I, mean, I thought it was just about love, really, this beautiful relationship that these guys have with each other. Is, you know, it's, that's very magical. I think people really like seeing friendship on stage. I think they've got that. And it's lovely. It's that kind of stuff. <laughs> Do you like that kind of stuff? 